Wes Hall, Wes Hall, so two forms of the greeting. I ended and began the previous video with Wes Hall, which is the greeting literally be well, be healthy, that you say to more than one person. It's a plural. The singular form, Wes Hall, the contrast there is similar between hello and hello y'all in certain dialects of modern English. Wes Hall, Wes Hall, and you see that the adjective has its own plural form. The nouns have a plural ending. The adjectives have separate plural endings. An important point to remember as we move forward. There is some overlap, but the adjectives often have a distinct adjective ending. And that's true for the other cases as well. So we've looked at the nominative case, the subject case of these 10 Old English nouns in the previous lesson. These are the plurals of those same nouns. And this time I'm not going to talk about the forms of the verbs, but simply show you the contrast. And by the end, you'll be able to see and hear those differences. So here we go. Number one, Sa kunink is yom. Sa kuningas sind yonge. Wesiman klane. Weronta men klane. Lang is so well. Langa sind tha wellas. Is sedom wees? Sind tha domas weese? Se hund wes eld. Tha hundas weron elde. The chlavord is hal. The chlavordas sind halle. Is sithein selk? Sind thathena selke? Se havok wes chlud. The havokas weron chlude. Fool is sestan. Fool sind thastanas. Sede was god. Thadaras were on gode. So a couple of things to note. A couple of irregular nouns. One of them has kept its irregularity for a thousand years. Seman thamen. And you can hear the very closeness between those forms in Old English and Modern English. Man, men, seman, thamen. Notice that the word for the or that, se, has its own plural form. And that's an important reminder. Adjectives have their own endings, which are not the same as the endings for nouns. And this is true in all the cases in Old English, in all four cases. So we've been looking at the nominative case the plural ending for these masculine nouns in the nominative is as. The plural ending for adjectives is e. So, se kunink is yong, the kuningas sind yonge. And notice every word in those short sentences changes. The verb has a singular form, a plural form. So does the noun, so does the adjective, so does the word for the or that. So there are many more markers in an Old English sentence for singular or plural than in modern English. We have a few. We've kept a few, but Old English has more. I'd like to move on now to part two and talk about a few more greetings and common expressions. So we have seen that singular question, sprichst du English? Do you, one person, thou, speak English? The equivalent plural is Sprechat ye English? Do ye speak English? Do you, plural, speak English? So, sprichst du English? Sprechat ye English? Or sometimes, sprechat ye English? There is a certain form there that sometimes appears in a question that drops the a thorn ending. And we'll be talking more about that in a later lesson. <coughs> so you have, wes hal, for one person, wes halle, or more than one person. Sprichst du English? Spreche je English? Okay, so some useful questions. A little bit of beginning.
conversation in Old English. Another couple of sentences useful to be able to make. What is the name? What is thy name? What's your name? What is the name? This noun, nama, belongs to a different group and it forms its plural differently. We'll be talking about this other class of Old English nouns in a later lesson. What is the nama? Mi nama is. His nama is. Hira nama is. What is hira nama? Hira nama is and so on. So now you have some interesting questions to ask. Weshal sprichst du English? Mi nama is? And so on. So, I'm going to close this lesson with those two forms again. Weshal, Wesafhale, and good luck.